it's fantastic to be here in Chicago, Illinois, my hometown. My hometown is Chicago, Illinois. Who here is from the city of Chicago? Who's from out of town? Thank you so much. Thank all of you for being here, for doing this. You guys made this. You guys made this happen. We got people from Kentucky, fucking Canada. We got people from California. Where? Idaho? We got Montana. We got all these people that came here to do this. To do this, to be here. Thank you, you made this. All these people. Look, I would rather get dropped in a fucking Bonnaroo bathroom from the Sears fucking tower on a pile of diseased rhinoceroses than listen to Brad Paisley. I would rather lay on a blade of diseased knives than ever hear Red fucking Solo Cup again. That's what we do. We made this. All of us, all of you, all these dudes in black with tattoos and everyone was like, who the fuck are you? What are you doing? What's going on? You're like, I like Slayer. I, I wear a Misfits t-shirt and I listen to fucking Johnny Cash. I don't listen to that Keith Underwood book or Keith Urban. What's that fucking guy's name? Yeah, I don't listen to that guy's name because he fucking sucks. He's fucking terrible. So it's weird to be here considering my parents are here, my wife is here. I was born 10 blocks away and I grew up 10 blocks away. To be here with you is fucking amazing. So thank you all for that. I look at my notes, so it's all the thank you part's over now. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, guy in black. Thank you. So let's see where we're at. Sorry. So the... One thing I learned about doing this and what we do, what we're a part, where we're going, is that if you grew up listening to punk rock, how many of you grew up listening to punk rock and metal? Right? Friends, we're cursed. We are cursed. Because every single fucking thing that we do, we have ruined ourselves in every kind of music, every single fucking thing that we do. Why? Because we're the one kind of music that obsesses about guitar players, drummers, bass players, what amps they're playing, who the fuck produced the record. Who does that? When you like country music, who played bass on Johnny Cash's record? Oh, the one guy. Hey, who played bass in Slayer? Oh, you guys were supposed to yell Tom Maria. That was your cue to yell Tom Maria. But it ruins us. We become these people that somehow we obsess so bad about music, it ruins like all kinds of shit in our lives. Because what we do is we take all these minute fucking details and we apply them to our everyday life. Somebody's like, hey man, I got tickets to go see fucking Fast and the Furious 6 and Kid Rock. You're like, fuck you! <laughs> fuck you! I'm not going to Kid Rock. Why? Because we're dicks. Because we're dicks. That's what we do. When you grow up listening to that kind of music, how many times there's dudes in here that have done this with me? That have been like, you have an ego. You see, there's guys already laughing. Like, you have an ego. You're a shitty person because you don't like the things I like. You're like, no. I just generally don't give a fuck what you like. Because at the end of the day, what's music, if you go, it's okay to be a judgmental prick. It is. Because if, say, ladies, if you go to somebody's fucking car and you get in the fucking passenger door and you're like, let me see your CD book. You still have one of those. And you're like, Rascal Flats. Enya. You have a EDM power mix. Get the fuck out of my car! <laughs> it's okay. It's totally okay. Because you know why? It's okay to judge people because, look, you're here because you like good music, you like good people, you got cheap beer, and you flew all over the country to be fucking here. <laughs> to be here. You realize what we're doing right now is all the shit back in the day of all the bands we liked. We're making it happen, all of us. You guys paid money to support bands like Fifth on the Floor. You paid money to support Last False Hope. 
You paid money to support my man Shooter Jennings. We're the anti-heroes. We're do doing exactly what they are trying to not let us do. So, in turn, we show up, we drink beer, and we buy records, and we tell them to go fuck themselves. Oh, and don't forget, there's a certain unspoken rule about going to shows. People fart at shows. You all know it. Anytime you've been standing in a motherfucking crowd, somebody's like, <clears throat> Who was that? You don't say shit. You never say anything. You pretend you're... Oh man, that guy's a fucking dick. And then five minutes later, you do it yourself. So, that's an unspoken rule at that. But yes, we do run Moonrunners. Why we started Moonrunners was a reason to do things that will appeal to us. To come to get all these people together, to give us a reason for all those things that I'd already talked about. For us, for those punk dudes, the guys with neck tattoos that don't give two shits about what's going on on MTV, who's your friends? Your friends are those guys that'll watch your fucking back. It's like some serious war shit. But that's what we do. We grew up going to shows, because people like us, this is one thing, I'm having a baby. I'm raising my baby around guys like you because you know what? All the people who look down on us because we have tattoos, because we like all those kinds of music that told us, oh, well, you gotta get a regular job. You can't do that shit. You can't go to fuck, you can't wear all black every day. Why do you have a crimson ghost on everything in your fucking house? Because we were taught community comes before anything. Your friends. Your family, because when you go to a bunch of shows in your hometown, those kids become your friends. In a lot of cases, those kids who were your friends are the ones you can always look out for, because they'll always have your fucking back. That's some shit that you always taught. And in this town, that means a lot. I was blessed to be, like, growing up here. Because when you're from Chicago, you learn your Chicago friends are a good south side bunch of fucking kids who will always look out for your back. Sorry, Northsiders, I got you too, but I'm from the south side. We all have our shit. So thank you for that. But I've learned one thing about being an adult. They try to, t I've learned a lot of things, but one major thing. So, they try to tell you, all the magazines, all the fucking TV shows, all the shit, they try to tell you, oh, we have the man's greatest pleasure. We know what men like. We know what men love cosmopolitan magazine full-outs of how to give the best blowjob. Wrong. The greatest pleasure in men's life is not sports, it's not sex, it's not music, it's not God, it's not the bottle. Ladies, men, it's pissing and fucking ice in the bathroom. <laughs> How many times have you been to the bar and you're like, oh shit, they got ice in here? You stand there like the fucking guns of the Navarro and you're like... How many times have you murdered a fucking piece of ice? Just to say, you can put a picture of your fucking mama in there and you're like, I'm gonna burn this bitch's eyes out. I'm gonna hurt this bitch right now. And you look at some shit and you're like, Holy shit, look at the size of that guy's fucking hole. What has he got in his pants? And you're all coming out, because ladies, your bathroom is like fucking a sur sewing circle with people high-fiving and talking about hopes and dreams. Can I borrow your makeup? Can I borrow your cocaine? Not a men's bathroom. That shit is quiet as fuck. It's some mafia shit. You shut your mouth and you piss and you leave. Stare at your square. Every men's bathroom has got pile. And you stare and you get out, but not when you can piss in ice. You're like... Hey, man! I, I, I can piss in ice, and you're high-fiving motherfuckers out the doorway, you're like, yeah, that's... I can. See, you're laughing, because you know it's true. You know it's true. I gotta look at my fucking notes here. So, if that, do you guys, any of you guys read Moonrunners? For all of you who don't read Moonrunners, Moonrunners is a site that Shooter, Josh, and myself, and a couple of fallen comrades from the past... Jody Rob, oh, I was gonna get to Jody Robbins. Right now, at this point, is Carmen is there. She was the first person to play. God bless her. She's up there. Jody Robbins, Josh, myself, shooter. We take a certain kind of liberty in expressing the fact that 
we're kind of a different kind of group of people. I like to think that I'm not a hater, I'm a realist. Because, you know what, if you wear fucking some shirt with tap out on the front of it, and orange Nikes, and fucking white across your sunglasses, I'm allowed to make fun of you. You're a fucking, I'm a hater, because you're a base fucking stupid goddamn person who I want to fucking beat your brains out with a fucking baseball bat because you say, hater, I love my haters. You deserve that! You deserved every single fucking ounce of the reason why people hate you. It's fucking stupid. That goes along with guys who say Sunday fun day. That's Sunday fun day. We're going to go out and forget all of our troubles. You're like, dude, it's Sunday. You do your fucking laundry on Sunday. You don't have to make a fucking Facebook posting with a million goddamn exclamation points. I'm going to Taco Bell. And you're like, oh, Jesus Christ. Oh. But there's one thing, like, so I left Chicago a couple of years ago and I moved to New Orleans, Louisiana. I've been in New Orleans now for five years. I have learned a couple of lessons about living in New Orleans, Louisiana. One, drunk white girls, you guys are the one people I am racist against. Because later in the night, somebody's going to have the fucking butt on her head, and she's going to be like, I don't care. I don't care. I'm just holding my shoes, and the guy's like... Because at some point, someone, there's a lady in here that goes, it's your day, baby. It's your day. I'm not going to drink tonight. You get to have fun. Guess what happens? She gets fucking annihilated, and you're like... Great. My whole night's over.